So don't let this bully, this little dog, right? Do what the little dog's trying to do. Make itself look like a bigger dog. It's, uh, see it for what it is. Let me help you understand that. See it for what it is. That's really a little dog. And if you stand up to a little dog, he'll behave like a little dog. <laughs> he will. But the whole thing is for you to understand that. Because you're scared. I get it. I get it. You're nervous. He puts fear in you. That, that's not a that sentence. That's something that we all deal with, being scared. All of us. We all do. He's scared. That's why he's doing it. Yeah. He's scared. He's trying to make sure you will never bother him. Make him feel like a bigger dog. He's trying to make sure that other people won't bother him. They see him picking on you and make him bigger. Like, oh, that's a big dog. Let's stay away from him. He's scared. He's unsure of himself. You're the one who's actually the bigger dog. Now, you're saying, Teddy, how? I don't feel that way. I'm going to explain to you why. You're the one who's actually stronger. You're the one who's actually braver. You're the one who's actually tougher. And I'm going to explain to you because it's inside you. It ain't inside him. That's why he's acting this way. Because it's not in him. But it's in you. You know why? Because you are not using anything, anything false, anything fake to deal with what's there. You're just you. You're just you. He's not him. You're real. He's fabricated. He's make-believe. You understand? He's make-believe. The same way as when you were a kid and you were hearing something tap on the window outside at night when you were a little kid and you saw a shadow and you thought it was a monster and you got scared and you called for your parents and your parents came in there to get rid of the monster and they put the light on and you saw what the monster really was. It was a twig hitting the window from a branch from a tree that gave a shadow that looked like it was a claw of a monster, but it wasn't a monster. It was a tree. He's not a monster. What's real is what strength is. You're real. And there's strength to being real. Real is steel. Real is on its own. That's strong. He's actually scared of that. I know that. I'm pleased. Well, follow me. He's actually scared of that. That's why he's picking on you. That's why he needs friends around him to do this stuff. You don't need that. Like I said, you're facing it as scared as you are alone, all alone. You have the real strength. You have the real power. You're the real McCoy. You're genuine. Again, there's strength and power to being real. The real deal. That's you. Understand that, please. Understand that. He's the one at the end of the day that he's being a bully just to fill something inside of him that's empty. That's empty because he's scared, because he's afraid that he'll be found out. He's afraid himself that he might get picked up. He feels so small, like the little dog. Like the little doggy, he feels so small that he has to act big so other people think he's big. So you'll think he's big. And please, understand that. Treat him the way he deserves to be treated. I know it's hard. But you know what's harder? Living with this. Living in the shadows. Living in the dark. You know, him making you feel this way. You don't deserve to feel this way. It's not your inadequacy. It's not your fault. It's not your shortcoming. It's not your weakness. It's his. Understand that.